Hello YouTube, welcome back. We're playing Tormentia, and I gotta be honest, I know nothing about this. It's a running theme with some of these next fest demos from Steam. I go down the list of horror games, I filter by horror, I go down the list and I go, that looks interesting, that looks interesting, that looks interesting. We then have a big bunch of games to play on stream every Tuesday and Thursday, 5 to 9 BST, PM BST. And then if it's an entertaining game or I think it's worthwhile making a video out of it, we'll make a video out of it. And then you guys on YouTube to see it as well. So shall we find out what Torment is all about? Let's dive straight in. Case of a missing child in the town of Saint Hel I immediately hate everything about this. <laughs> I'm just gonna really quickly just move my move my camera. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like what was the is it's like adventure. The interlace look, it makes me tired, the, that interlace look. This is adventure. <laughs> I've played this on Evercade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it strains your eyes. Uh, let's have a, let's see what we can do about that. Let's see TV filters. Continue. How's that? That actually, that looks a lot better. Is it, oh God. Okay, so that's monsters. Cool, got it. Uh, also monsters. A key. Uh, can I get that hand to press that button? Yeah! Give us the key. <laughs> I can't believe they made a horror version of Adventure. Right, wait. Hang on. Hang on what do I oh, no, wait. I just take this to the castle, don't I? Do I not take this to the castle? No. Wait, there we go. And now I've got the sword. <laughs> nice. Oh wait, do I need to both? Pow. Ah, there we go. Leave an item on there. So it's slightly more uh, complicated, but there we go. So now I can get out with the sword and now present oh god now presumably if i reposition myself here i can try and kill this thing <laughs> come on die are you going to be invincible you are going to be invincible aren't you yeah you are bastard uh right so there's another thing over here wasn't there there's another key oh god it needs background music yeah oh oh i didn't die immediately i thought i would oh no now which do i take do i take oh, i'll take the i can't take both gold key right i'm gonna need it up the way so if I go like this. Oh, I got me. Oh, there's a dragon. Oh, no. Oh, no. I need the... Ow, I'm dead. Game over. Wait, do I... Can I just... Yeah. Does that mean that does unlock too? Yes. Ow. Kill it. Kill the dragon. Kill it. What is happening to the screen? What the fuck? Whoa! You shit. Oh no. Oh dear. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. What's happening? I hate it. <laughs> so 
Zoom in with shift. Stickers. I like stickers. Haven't collected many stickers. It's not a very good sticker album. Do I need to take this out? Power off. Take the game cap. There we go. <laughs> Press control to keep playing Tormentia. All right. <laughs> so I can just press control to go in now to mention whenever I want. Okay. Sweet. Oh, wow. It's a guess who? Are they... <laughs> what the fuck? Are they wearing 3D glasses? No. I used to love Guess Who as a kid. I could never play it, but I used to love it. Because I just used to enjoy... Oh my god, it's one of the phones from Toy Story. What? Yellow, light green, dark green, blue, purple. What? What am I even doing? Oh, there's going to be a color code. I get it, right. The goat nightlight. Toys. Uh, yeah, cool. Got you. Oh, darts. Darts on a dartboard. And... Hey, yup. Yeah, got one. And... Hey, yup. Yeah, got one. Hey, yup. Oh, they just respawn. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can continue with Tom and Joe. Uh, find the four hidden relics and head north. Right, so we started here now. Four hidden relics. A switch. Hello. <laughs> Are you taking notes? Press tab. <laughs> oh, that heals me, maybe? This reminds me so much of Faith, the unholy trinity. You love playing Guess Who with Uno, but the character's question is, does that person have an inferiority complex? Brilliant. Does this person shop at Waitrose? Wow, it's really hammering it down out there. Are you taking notes? Yes, apparently so. How do I go anywhere? Oh, go this way. There you go, you wanted background music. Trees. Just trees. Cool. Oh my god, this this genuinely makes me want to replay Faith the Unholy Trinity. Uh oh no. Oh no. It's a hidden wall. It's a Wait, what? There's a mouse, a, a artist's paint block, a music note, and a, a Nike tick. <laughs> so I've unlocked that. Oh, I can go this way. And then this way. This is this is cool. Oh, there's lots of grabby hands. You've got grabby hands, mate. Can I get past you? No, I can't. Because I need to go this way. And then, oh no, I can't go that way either. Well, that's rubbish. So I can't get anywhere this way until I've got a a sword or something. Oh no, go away. What's down here? So there's nothing down here. I can't get in that door. Can't get in that door. What's down here? There was a path down here, wasn't there? Watch the. Is this. Hello? Is that a switch? Uh, give it back. Wait, what? Hey, yo. Say hi, sucker. I don't even know what this does. Uh, I think I'm looking for a. Am I taking notes? Am I still taking notes? Yeah, I'm taking notes. Exit this way. Wait, why did that say? Why did that look like there was an exit to the to my left? 
Oh, wait, what was that? Oh, is that the original one I went in? Wait, can I go in there? <gasps> I can. Oh, no. Right, so what's this way then? Uh, you look like a baddie. Oh, you're not though. Where is my ring? I don't know. <laughs> I wish I, I wish I knew for you, madam. Oh no, you're still a baddie. <laughs> have I got to do stuff in the real world to affect the game? Can I just have this here? Can I just... <laughs> My notebook, I've got a radio. Okay, I've got a Polaroid. I've got some pictures. Oh, the clock. That must be what dinged a second ago. I've got... Sorry. That lamp just fell from space. I saw that. Right, can I actually give you this back? No, I can't. There's no way of putting it there. So I'm going to keep this here. This is probably going to be important at some point. Uh, oops. I can't get anywhere else here, I don't think. Did I make any notes here? No, but to say there's a, there's a passage right and down, so I'm not sure where that is. Oh, I can go this way as well. Um, yeah, so I went this way, but wait, can I get past? Can I take some damage in order to get past there? No, I can't. Oh, can I get the sword from the first level? That's a really good idea. That is a really good idea. Let's do that there a second. Let's see if we can go and get the sword. No. Oh, no. No, damn it, the sword is gone. Ow! I walked into the spikes. Wait, what have you got? Why have you why do you look different? You've got something different. Oh, I should have killed that one first. Yeah, no sword. No sword, no dice. Let's go. Oh. Oh God! Slenderman's gonna kill me. He has the he has the ring. He's got the ring. So I need something to kill him with. How do I get in here though? Right, I've been. Oh no, I've been here before, and this leads to a tree bit, and this just leads here. Which is up to a sealed bit because I need the four relics. Got it. Need the four relics and head north. I've been through that bit. This is where. Oh, I need to get back. give it back. Here then. Here, take it. Take it. I have no need for it. Hey, there we go. I can give it back to you. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Welcome, traveler. Cool. What are you? Say cheese. Do I need to... Oh. What is that? What? Hi. Rusted things belong here. There's that symbol. <laughs> Disco Mike! It's so quiet here. The, what? The Eternal Task. Is this Dark Souls? <laughs> Have I just found Majula or something? I'm tired. Same. You seem pretty steady. Want some pineapple juice?
Ooh. Well, these are some color. Oh, you guys appear to be playing with a skull. This game is awesome. Can I go in the church? I can go in the church. Do I want to go in the church? This is Faith the Unholy Trinity. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'll be surprised if this isn't the same developer. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, hello. I got an Easter egg. Hooray. <laughs> I don't know what I did, but I got an Easter I exercised the demon. Can I go in the house? Hello. Bring me the parts. One of five. Is this a part? Bring me the parts. Is this not one of the parts? There. There's a there's a part. You're looking for parts of people? Hello, buddy cat. It's your food time, isn't it? Eh? It is. It's your food time. Woof, woof. <laughs> Excellent. How do I get in that one? Big, big red house. Big locked red house. Red house, much scary. Rusted things belong here. Oh, there's, there's this way too. Only one half in there. <laughs> what? The half that feels. Jesus, this is so creepy. I love it. Oh, wait, you have a horse's head and you have a man head. And, oh, Lord. Jeez. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, that's so creepy. Oh, that's so creepy. Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> that's so unbelievably weird. I love it. Uh, river. I've gone a different color. Uh, there's the disco dude again. The anvil man. Can I go in the thing? No. <laughs> Say cheese. Right, so I gotta collect parts as well. This is so cool. I I I like this. This is definitely going on the list. And do I only have so long to do this? Because I keep hearing the clock bong and it's nearly midnight. Oh, grab. Use. No batteries, okay. Oh wait, do we think there's gonna be people in the ha in the game? No, probably not. No. Oh, so creepy when I took a photo of me. So parts. So we've got to search behind trees maybe for parts. What happens if I get caught again? Oh, it just... Okay, I just get game over. parts have we got no parts in here that I can see <laughs> do you know in, in horror games I prefer that sort of voice than like AI voices I've played some horror games where they've got AI voices and they're just really bad oh wait is it behind your bookcase no This game is awesome. Right, so there's nothing... Oh, no, there is... There is still something there? Or can I do it again? No, I can't do it again. 
This has got the depictions of the four relics, though. The mouse, the art, the everything. There's the dog. There's a door. Still not sure how to get through that door. Yeah, can't seem to find any parts. Did it go this way? Yeah, it did. Oh, left? Oh no, this just leads me to this bit, doesn't it? The hell is that noise? Whatever that noise was just gave me a proper shiver then. I heard I heard something like uh, very sort of like That was so weird. Oh, that was that was horrific. Wow. Not that way. Am I still taking notes? Okay, there's a lock, there's a door. Okay. Must be something else in the village we can do. What if I just run into that dude with the... Can I click back again? No. I'll run into the dude with the ring. Do you reckon he gives it us? Ow. Ow. No. <laughs> In this state, does anything change? <laughs> that bloody rocket lamp. No, nothing nothing changes. Okay. Well, let's respawn. Is it Is it going outside outside? Is there a trash can outside? <laughs> oh Jesus! Thanks, mate. Cheers. Alright, Tormentia. So we played a little bit of it. We played a bit of the demo. I am going to play more of it another day. Um, it's got that really creepy kind of low poly aesthetic feeling that I really like. And it reminds me really, really strongly of Faith the Unholy Trinity. And there's something about kind of old hardware, like old video games being haunted or potentially spooky that just oh, i don't know it, it it rattles something in me and it just I, I really like it i want to find out more about this and the fact that you're sat there playing a game and stuff's going on around you as well like we had the moment where the the guy took a picture of us and our polaroid camera went off in the room that was super creepy because i just i kind of forget that you know I'm, I'm a player i'm playing a player in a room playing a game i'm playing somebody playing a video game it's really creepy so anyway we're going to check it out another time as well i hope you enjoy if you want to watch us live you can check us out every tuesday and thursday uh 5 till 9 p.m bst over on twitch.tv forward slash wholesome horror gaming but for now stay safe stay spooky and i'll see you in the next video thank you very much all right i'm gonna pop this off a second yep we're going to stick you with some words on stream for a short while, and then we'll come back and probably play some Phasmo. Uh, we do have a couple of others. We've got Psalm to play. Oh, no, we've just got Psalm to play. We can play that next time. Um, let's get you some words on stream. I uh, still got words on stream here. I do still have words on stream here. Whether or not that actually works is another math. Another math. Uh, words on stream. And then I will just quickly nip and feed the kiddies. And then we'll be back back at it with some Phasmo. Copy, paste, music, done.
Done. Done. There you go. I'll be right back. Thank you. 
Alrighty. Oh, and developer Bruce just holding up chat there. There we go. <laughs> Alright, should we play some Phasmo? Let's play some Phasmo, shall we? Let me exit this. Turn this off. Cats are lovely and fed. I need to close that. I need to get Phasmo. You did, Acheris. You're summoned by Phasmo. Slide that over here. Oh, I officially have too many stairs in this house. Too many stairs and I hate cardio. Pa 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 pa. Pasmophobia. Pasmo. And I got a fan too with me as well. Oh, beautiful. You get me a little bit later tonight rather than nine o'clock. You get me a little bit later than that. Um, because my wife is not here, so you guys get to keep me company and I stream when she's not here, so I don't feel lonely. So you get to keep an eye on me. <clears throat> Fan oh right, let's just change thingies. Can I scroll out of this? Yes. Pew. Phasmo. Phasmo. Oh yeah, making some Phasmo tutorials. Done. Alrighty. So, what do I want to note down? I want this. I want this. Yes. 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 Lovely. <clears throat> Get out of this. How's sound? Sound looks good. What's the challenge this week? What is the challenge? Give me the challenge. What's this? Go. Where is it? Challenge mode. Deja vu. This one feels nostalgic, don't you think? Correctly find the ghost in six Tanglewood. Should we do a bit of a challenge mode first? Shall we? <clears throat> I think we should probably do a challenge mode. See if we can get an easy five grand. Six tangle. Considering it is our it is our normal haunt. We'll get we'll get we'll get one out of the system. Do you know what I mean? We'll just get it out of our system. Here we've got Elizabeth Gaten. This is really low on my end. I'm going to have to uh, rely on you lot to tell me if it's uh, too loud now, because it's it's turbo loud on my end. I've got my cheat sheet. Got my cheat sheet. I've got nowhere to put it, but I've got my cheat sheet. Uh, what else do I want? Let's take a spirit box. Wait, no. That's not loud. Okay, cool. I don't want spirit box. I'm not. Oh, ugh. anyway, <laughs> beggars and choosers, etc. Oh, I didn't check where the breaker was. Yoink! I'm much louder than the game. Am I? How's that? That might be a bit better. I can turn. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Well, it might be. That wasn't a ghost ball, was it? That was a that was like a proper whisper. Do a quick thay test. Uh, miscellaneous. How old are you? Twenty eight. Cool. Back. Goodbye. Cheers. Yeah, that was a that was a sexy whisper. That was that was a careless whisper by the ghost. All right, let's. Where are what? Well, I have a I have a sneaking suspicion you might be in the garage. Just a sneaking suspicion. Nine point three. Seven point seven. 
Hmm, interesting. Definitely not in here. 10? 10. Are you a laundry ghost? Am I standing on you, laundry ghost? Also a 10. I can never remember if these are two separate rooms. No. Definitely don't think you're a basement ghost. No, you're definitely not a basement ghost. Oh, I've got no sprint. Oh, okay. Is that why it's nostalgic? Is that is it like old school rules? Because there was a time when you couldn't sprint, wasn't there? If memory serves. Which it doesn't always, but you know. Oh, yeah, not an Oni. You, there you go. Definitely not an Oni. <laughs> We got any uh, sexy hiding spots? No, <laughs> of course not. Right, so pop that there. Have you have you fingered anything? I got very I got visible breath, which is nice, but that doesn't always mean it's freezing. Oh, you just touched that door. Did you touch it? Touch it, or did you just touch it? You just touched it. You didn't touch it. Touch it. Hello. You're very active. I'm still not sure where the ghost room is, if I'm being perfectly honest. Is this a... Nope. It's this one, isn't it? No, no. Is there not one? Oh. Awkward. There might not be one. Well, how exciting. Loops all round then. <laughs> right, 3.9. So you're a laundry ghost. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, no, I definitely can't sprint. Ugh, pick that up. Put that there. Put that there. Go get some more shit. You turn the light off, which means you're not a... Which one is it? I've got it here somewhere. I've definitely got it here somewhere. Oh, apparently I don't. There's one that can't turn lights on. Definitely. Oh, cannot turn off the breaker. That's a gin. Lights out. Cannot turn on lights. Got it. That's a meh. All right. Let's see if we can find some dots. Get that, that, uh, this, uh, this. Uh, wait, excuse me? There we go. <laughs> oh, my God. This is the tiniest camera in the world. So is this the tier one camera? Am I so spoiled with the tier two camera? Oh, shit. Do you mind? Are you friendly? Where are you? How old are you? No, well, that's not working yet, is it? Hey, sis, is an unknown. How are you doing? Are you definitely in this room? You are touching everything. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely in this room. You've not touched that. You've not touched that. We're going to get a, a good one under our belt. I say a good one. We're, we're try, I'm trying to do the thing. Oh, ghost writing. Lovely. Marvelous stuff. Well, that looks terrifying, doesn't it? <laughs> Something to really tell the kids. Uh, oh, EMF3. That's fine. That's trash. Do a five. Uh, 
Uh, toss it to the washing machine. Are you friendly? Where are you? How old are you? No, definitely not working. Oh, hello. <laughs> Izzy, you've been waiting for that, haven't you? <laughs> Ring, 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 ring. Ghost banana phone. Do, 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 do. Uh, right, we'll go drop that. That feels pointless right now. I can't sprint. Oh, my God. <coughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Maybe you have. Maybe you haven't. Who's to know? 64% uh, sanity. I'm still good for sanity. What else we got? Catch a photo, prevent crucifix, and average sanity below 25%. That's it. That's it. Uh, how, what do we, what do we, yeah, we let's grab one of these and one of these and one of these. We can do a thingy, a yokai. We can set up a yokai test in there at the very least. And this is the sort of thing I want to do videos on. This is the sort of stuff I want, uh, I want to tell people about. Like, what's a yokai test? Right. So a yokai test, and I'm going to go through this again. If you think it might be a yokai, which it can't be, right? It genuinely can't be. So I probably should check this first. But if yokai is one of them and you wanted to check, is it a yokai? Yokais normally will extinguish a candle instead of a crucifix. So if I go like, oh, shite. That, if it tries to hunt, it will extinguish the candle before it does the crucifix. Also, if it extinguishes the candle three times, it will automatically... Uh, no, it is. that's a yokai test, isn't it? I'm sure that's the yokai test. Uh, three times it'll automatically try a hunt. Yokai, yokai. Onryo. That's exactly as I said. Onryo. <laughs> Which is also not on this list. <laughs> this is exactly why I'm not recording this first. <laughs> So because it's not, it's never going to do it, but that's a that's a good test for it. Are you friendly? Where are you? How old are you? Right. Well, it's definitely here. No, it's just not there. Oh, you touched this door. Right. Well, if you touch that door, did you? Oh God, I left my torch all the way over there, didn't I? Bloody hell. You like turning them lights off, don't you? Turn that light off. I think we made a money. <laughs> because Mike forgot the candle, the house burned down, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hiya. yeah. Are you friendly? You sound friendly. Where are you? Definitely not working. All right. That's a four. It was kind of impressive, but not very impressive. It was mostly impressive. Oh, and I never checked for dots, did I? Right, turn this off. I never checked for dots. Ah. Yay, the ghost made a wish. Oh, uh, yeah, well, I might be in trouble. Uh, uh, dots, thanks. Thanks, brain. Dots. Oh, not dots, ghost up. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know my terminology. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, where is the... L dots projector in this setup. Am I blind? I'm I'm blind. There isn't on this week's challenge. That's random. Okay, so we got it's either a mare, a revenant, or a thay. So a thay we can very easily rule out a thay. It's just uh. Mm, 
there might be a hiding spot. I mean, this is either going to work or it's not. <clears throat> I'm going to go downstairs. It is the Thay. I'll just double check. It's the Thay that does this. Yeah. So the Thay ages through the through the contract. Um, so we checked on the thingy earlier, the Ouija board. I said, how old are you? It said 28. There's no hiding spot down here either. So if I go, oh, shit. Uh, how? Wait, can I not use this twice? Can I not use it again? F. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, how old are you? 39 is a thing. Goodbye. Uh, I'd like to leave. I'd like to survive. There we go. So, I'm going to go with the Thay. If I'm right, then I'll explain again why. But if I'm not, then I'll just shut my mouth. I have a little sip of me Fanta as well. Fanta is for winners. Am I a winner? Yes, I am. Right. That was good. So, the reason I knew that is because... When I first entered the house, I went down to the basement, saw the Ouija board, um, asked how old the ghost was. It said 28. And then after a little while, I saw Thay was one of the only three options. So immediately to eliminate it, I just went back to the Ouija board, said, how old are you again? And it said 30 something, 39 or something like that. And the Thay is the only ghost that ages through the contract so it'll be very 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 active in the start which actually coincides with how it was behaving very active in the start not so active very active and fast when it hunts as well not so active not so fast when it's it, i think it it goes over like 20 minutes or something it ages over the period of 20 minutes and then um like so like 10 minutes later not very active not very fast and then another 10 minutes later super dormant barely moving you know, barely roaming around. So that's normally how you can spot whether or not it's a thing. Right, cool. I enjoyed that. Uh, challenge mode. I think I'll do that three times. Let's do another one. Apply. Plus, it shakes the cobwebs out, to be honest with you. And gets us five grand as well. But I'm going to do... I want to do some tutorial videos on just tier one equipment. Because that's what everyone starts with. And to be honest, it's all garbage. Parabolic microphone. Sanity below 25%. Catch a picture of the ghost. Cool. Bang, bang, bang. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Am I still, like, significantly louder than the game? Like, is it obnoxious or is it okay? Not me before you answer that. I know I'm obnoxious, but... Right, so that's now on, which is good. So, find the room. And now it should start to heat up a little bit. It is okay. Thanks, Bruce. Appreciate you. 9.7. Dining room in my ghost hand. 8.9. A laundry ghost. 10. A garage ghost. Six. Well, I found the warmest room in the house <laughs> so far. What was this one again in here? Nine. It might it might be another laundry ghost, you know. You appreciate my face. Thanks, mate. You appreciate my silly voice and face. Oh. Well, that's rude, isn't it? Let's just set off the car alarm. Thanks. So, are you a laundry ghost then? Because this was four degrees lower. No, are you the gar Are you in the garage? Maybe five. Ooh, you could be. You could be in the gap. Wasn't one hundred percent sure 
if that was an event or a raid, then? <laughs> nope. Nope. You fucker. Well, it's not an Oni. Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> this game is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. I'm sure the Kinetic team would love that. Come on, you're in here. I know you are. Once again, I can't... I keep forgetting I can't sprint. Was that... Oh, no. All right. Well, I'm pretty certain you're in here. So... Yeah, 1.9. Cool. Just going to wander out now. So... If you want to make any any haunting noises by all means feel free because that means I'll capture it on the parabolic microphone well not from outside I won't alright so let's get this and this it's wild there's no dots oh wait hang on Oh my god. Dots were never a thing, were they? Dots were introduced later. When we had the old the old um uh garage uh lobby. Oh, that's wild. I totally forgot about that. Oh my god, how long have I been playing this fucking game? No wait, I need to turn the light off. I've been playing this game for about thirty six years. Are you friendly? And where are you? Where are you? How old are you? Are you friendly? Ah, we go. We got ghost box. So evidence. We got spirit box. If you're nearby, do you want to do a quick solo on the parabolic? Yes, you do. Lovely. Thank you very much. How about an autograph? Smudge equals old burrito. Oh, yeah. Oh, bone. Lovely. Right, I need to go and get my uh, thingy. While I'm going to get my thingy, I'll run an ad as well. So non-subscribers, sadly, you will see an ad for, uh, at the moment, but it is counting down that anyway. So we will grab some stuff. <laughs> the old burrito. Uh, and I would like this, and I would like... Uh, screw it, yeah. It can be a wraith, can't it? We haven't got anything else at the now, no. We haven't got EMF5, even though I've been wandering around with it. This is a good opportunity, actually, because I can um, do this and then uh, for the next 60 minutes, I won't need to run an ad, which means after that point, I'll be... Oh, sorry, after doing this, I'll be fine probably for the rest of the night, I think. Oops. Yeah, probably. Well, that's an that's an exciting email that I can probably not share with you right now. <laughs> my project man now, people. I'm a project man now. <laughs> Come on, what do we need? What do we need? I got the power of the microphone. Photo of a ghost. That's what I need. What else do I have on me? Ah, good EMF. Excellent. Right, I'm going to head back in while the ads are finished up. Because I've got no sprint, so... This shouldn't... 
miss anything. And it was the garage, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, I say. Did you try and turn this off by any chance? No. Oh wait, where's the temperature? Temp gun. Give me my thermometer. Give us me thermometer. 3.7. Cool, still very high enough not to be. Oh yeah, because that was the original thermometer, wasn't it? I forgot about that. Right. <clears throat> Add to end in a couple of seconds, so then we can carry on. Hey everyone, welcome back. So, we haven't missed anything. Uh, I came in, I got chased around by the ghost a little bit. Not a hunt, just an event. Um, but I wanted to just come in and just place some salt down, just because... Oh, that's, there's only two in that, I forgot. Just because it means that we can eliminate a wraith from our list as well. Uh, the temperature is still above zero, and there's no ghost writing either. Do you mind? So that was only an EMF level two event, and it's definitely not a wraith, so because it can step in salt. So let's just pop these down here a second. Now, has it touched anything recently? So just walked near these. I don't think there's anything else we can really touch in here other than the uh, lockers. So we need more. We need more. Oh, that rain noise is outside. That's outside my house. That rain noise isn't. That rain noise is. It's literally, it's torrential rain. And that window's closed. It is torrential rain on the, on the skylight. Sorry about that. I, I can do nothing. <laughs> I got I got nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, we'll take... What will we take? What do we need? Photo of the ghost. Let's go with photo of the ghost. <laughs> you thought it was new ambient music. He was like, wow, so realistic. Yeah, no, it's not. It's just... Nottingham weather. It has been torrential today, like absolutely. Which was like it was it was lovely earlier today. Oh, I say lovely. It was passable earlier today. Drop. There we go. Oh, I thought that was a hunt. Am I lost? No. You're definitely not giving me any uh, thingy. Oh, yeah, ghostwriting. Oh, actually, you're not a, a spirit either. Is it the spirit that's shy? Shade, shade, shade. Oh, no, fine. What else can we test for? <clears throat> what have we got? Poltergeist. I haven't seen it throw a lot of stuff around, so I'm going to say it's not a poltergeist. Yeah, Shade is shy. Uh, meh. Meh. Cannot turn on lights and can instantly... Its ability is to instantly turn off a light that you turn on. No, okay. Probably not a mare. What else we got? A yokai. Oh, yokai's a fucking hard to de hard to detect, man. Yokai's are basically deaf. They are they won't hear you from a certain distance, but it's a bonkers that's a bonkers test. Uh Onrio is the Oh well Onrio is the thingy, isn't it? The candle. We can do the candle. 
I've also got Omnio. Twins and Mimic can get in the C. Diogen and Maroi. Oh, Maroi's also hard to test for. Ugh. A Dio. How do I test for a Dio? How do I test for a Dio? <laughs> I can put it on the. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's. I have to know. I have to go to Huntley to test for a Dio. Right, let's have a quick look at the camera. Ugh. I left the light on. I mean, it doesn't immediately look like there's ghost orbs. No, I'm going to say there's no ghost orbs. Okay. So, what else we got? Dots. So there can't be dots, right? EMF level 5, ultraviolet, ghost writing, freezing temperatures. It's never dropped below freezing. This is a spirit or a mare. Spirit. I vaguely remember the spirit being easy to... Oh, no, the spirit is super hard. No, not super hard to test for. But if you smudge it, it takes 180 seconds instead of 90 seconds. So we could do that if we get a hunt. Which is possible, because we're at 50% sanity. And a mare. Let's go for a mare. It can still be dots in the other area of the room. Can it still be dots without a dots projector, though? If you don't have the dots projector physically in the game. Oh, hello. Like, for this challenge, this is the nostalgia challenge, isn't it? So maybe they've taken out the dots ghosts. Or they just haven't given you the dots projector. If they've not given you the dots projector, then it's, it could also be a, a Wraith, a Yokai, or a Diogen. I'll keep it in for now. I'm pretty certain it's not freezing temperatures. It hasn't touched the ghost writing book once. So Yokai or Phantom. Phantom, we need a hunt. Yokai, we could... Oh, God, no. Yokai is the one I'm talking about. That, that's... The deaf one as well. Jesus. Oh, you meant orbs. Got it. Oh, yeah. No, that's true. It could be in the other side of the room. I'm just... As a safety measure, just going to take... Let's just drop that. Just in case it touches something and it gives us ultraviolet. Just in case. Just in case. You know what it's like. You know what it's like, people. Oh, God. I can't sprint. Nice. Just one last check of the temp. Nope. Have you written anything? Oh, you have. Yeah, you know, you've given us ghostwriting. I'll shut my mouth. You've given us ghostwriting. Yep, so Spirit, Mare, or Diogen. I mean, it's not a yokai, so, you know. A Dio. How do I test for a Dio? It slows down when it's close to me. How do I test for a Mare? Oh, wait, no, Spirit, there's Spirit. That's the smudgy one. And a Mare is an insta, -light, insta lights out ability. So... And it hasn't done that once. I did just hear you touch something, though. EMF2. But. But. Oh, shit. No. Turn that back on. Thank you very much. Also, did you leave any fingerprints on that? Nope, you did not. Fine, you sod. 
So, it's got to be EMF5, not ultraviolet. It could be ghost orbs. It could be dots. But we don't have a dots projector, so I'm pretty certain it's not freezing temperatures. <clears throat> a mare. Which one's a mare? Oh, that's the lights. I don't think it's a mare. The amount of times it's I've turned lights on and it could have switched one off, I don't think it's a mare. I'm still I, I'm not certain, but I don't think it's a mare. A Diogen and a Spirit are two ones I really don't like testing for because I have to I have to get humped. And I'm not actually sure what the cursed object is. All right, cool. Whatever you say. Well, I'm very low on sanity. If you want to come and attack me, give me a sign. Just don't spawn on me like you sometimes do. Right, we'll go back and test for orbs. <clears throat> Oops. Uh, orbs, 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 orbs. I mean, that made no difference whatsoever. Actually, it made it harder to see. I'm willing to say there's no ghost orbs. So I'm willing to say it's not a mare, which is what I thought originally, but... It a toss-up between a Diogen, which slows down when it gets close to me in a hunt, or a spirit, which is mostly invisible. Actually, I think it's a spirit. Spirits favor that translucent thing. I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a punt. Oh, actually, should I just should I just get a hunt? Let's just get a hunt, shall we? So see if we can get a photo of the ghost as well. I mean it's no fun if I don't die at least once, right? I mean, that's what you're all there for. Make sure I've got my hand on my mouse before I go in the room. Give us a sign. Give us a sign. Oh, I don't like looping. Actually, can I loop around this? It'd be very hard to loop without sprinting at the minute. Nyom. 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 That bin. That bin is a fucking murderer. I swear to God. <clears throat> that bin in Tanglewood. It's murdered more people than the ghost. Give us a sign. What was their name? Margaret Robinson. Margaret Robinson, give us a sign. Oh, it's a photo of the bone, thanks. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. Thanks. <laughs> Margaret Robinson. Margaret Robinson. Wait, is this set up to detect? Oh, no, it's not even on voice detection, is it? <laughs> There we go. Gotcha. Ah, oh, Margaret. Ah, oh, Margaret. Margaret Robinson. Fucking hell, Margaret. Jesus Christ. Come on, Margaret. I'm getting bored. <laughs> Do a spooky. Oh. Is that you, Margaret? I don't even know if it's in there. 
right thingy audio Hello. You're a Diogen! Look how slow you go. You so slow. You so slow, Dio. So, so slow. Dio, Dio, Dio. You so slow. So, Diogen will speed up when it's away from you. And will slow down when it gets close to you. Begone, Dio! <laughs> Look how slow you go. <laughs> Pow. Yeah. Although I did think it was a spirit because spirits tend to favor the shadow or translucent ghost model. It doesn't mean that they always use it. It just means they favor it. Uh, Dio. Pow. Two out of three. Let's see if we can get the next one quickly. I'll say two out of three. Could be a mimic. No, I see the ocean. Good. <laughs> Welcome back. There's some dots ready for you. The ocean has dots. So, right. So, they are just not allowing you to capture dots as an evidence. Okay. Cool. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, yep. Tanglewood. Ready up. Let's go. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. All right Josephine Cordero. I got it, CJ. Don't worry. I should have shown the ghost with the cursed object. I think he went, he was far too serious with this voiceover. I think he needs to go a bit more hammy than this. Uh, oh shit! I didn't, I didn't look where the thing was. I never look where the thing is ever. I never look where the breaker is. I think because it's only in one of two spots in Tanglewood. And that's not one of them. Oh, I keep going to sprint. Right. Bang. Oh, a Ouija board. Lovely. How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? Goodbye. I don't think it's a thing. Pretty certain it is not a thing. That was a very old ghost for it to be a thing. We got 12. We got... Nine. All very suitable temperatures right now. We got... Eleven. Yeah, I forgot this used to be the thingy. This used to be the normal temperature thing, wasn't it? We, They downgraded the tier one thermometer to the absolute garbage uh, mercury one. Oops. Three point nine. Found the ghost. Oh, oh, I was going to say. Have you touched anything in here? Have you touched anything? Have you touched anything? No? No? Oh, okay. Whoa. Chilly in this room? Is it chillier? 4.5. No. Okay. Anything spooky going on? What, what happened here? What is that? It's a baseball cap. Lovely. Leave it like that. Go get some more stuff. I'd say turn that on, but it's probably not a point. I actually don't know if there's a an upper limit or a limit to the the initial age of a thing. Get one of these, get one of these, and get one of yeah, screw it, I'll get one of these as well. Uh pop that on that tripod. Why have I why have I suddenly become obsessed with the tripods? I don't understand. Oh, the viewfinder is so tiny. 
forget how magically horrible the tier one equipment is because I'm so spoiled. Oh, Jesus. Just drop it there. Lights out. Are you here? Can you hear me? Where are you? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I don't think that's working anymore. That's unfortunate. Uh, right, turn that on. So I don't want to bleed sanity all over the place. Put that there. Uh, right, audio. No, game. Text. Apply. Resume. That one. Psst. Turn the light out again. Turn the light. Oh, hello. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Are you friendly? Hey, lovely. Right, got that. So, spirit box. Uh, did I just pick something up? I did. I picked up someone's laptop. Did you touch that door? You did touch that door. And you've left me a nice, normal handprint. That's beautiful stuff. Absolutely beautiful. Ultraviolet. Loads of items here. I'll tell you what I might do, though. Because uh, Poltergeist is on the menu, um, I'm going to just grab some generic items that I can. I'm going to make a little Poltergeist pile here. A Palti pile. Scissors. Anything else? Scissors, a book. Oh, ghost writing. Beautiful. It is a port, guys. Fantastic. Right, we're leaving. Wrap it up. <laughs> That's the fastest contract I think I've ever done. <laughs> Without a shadow of a doubt, that's the fastest contract. What I was doing there is something I'll explain in another video, probably, is a Pulte, a, a Pulte guy's test. Their ability is to... So their normal action is to throw things further and more frequently. But their... Um, I'd, I'd be furious if that was a mimic. But their, um, uh, their ability is to throw lots of items all at once. So if you put a little pile of items in a room where you think a poltergeist is, and it all explodes at once... You've got a pole, guys. That's that's a pole, guys. Test. <gasps> we got some money, more money. All right. <clears throat> we can we can probably skip that. <gasps> we got the big sexy UV light. Right. Let me just get. Let me just uh, leave this. Go to professional. Apply. Go over to this one, and I need just the yeah. Fuck off. I've uh, I've gained another thingy, haven't I? So I need to make a loadout with just tier one items. So EMF reader, just tier ones. Yep, cool. That's just tier ones. Lovely. Uh, incense. No sanity medication. No. Wait, did you do you get salt? Uh, when you start? I can't remember. I want to make it... Acris might know this. I want to make it so it's like when you first start playing. I can't remember if you get... I can reset loadout. Reset loadout. Jeez. Cool. So you get nothing, basically. You just get this stuff. Essentially. So enable that loadout. Yes. Cool. So that's what you get in the beginning. So that is what you get in the beginning. Excellent stuff. Thank you so much. Now we name this to um, beginning. In the beginning. Starter items. That's a much better title for that. <laughs> This is streamer brain, right? I do, I can think of this stuff. It's just when I'm trying to think of this stuff and stream at the same time, <laughs> my brain just turns to goo. 
Uh, yeah, so that's enabled. So I've just got that. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to do a quick intro for you. I don't know how this video is going to go, right? I'm not going to be looking at chat as much um, just because I'm going to be trying to explain stuff. And then I'm just going to cut this out of the stream and post it on YouTube as like a here's a here's a absolute beginner starters guide basically if you're a new player this is what i wish i knew as a new player all right don't confuse on rio with the okay this time all right <laughs> i'll try not to <laughs> always on my ass about on rios and yokai jesus <clears throat> all right so here we go let's do a quick intro Hi YouTube, this video is a bit different from normal kind of content that I make. I'm not specifically playing a demo or a game, well I am playing a game, I'm going to play some Phasmophobia, but I wanted to make a video all about what I wish I knew when I first started playing Phasmophobia. I think over the years of it uh, evolving as this sort of entity in this game, it's very much become a bit... Uh, kind of impenetrable for new players brand new players so without prestiging or anything like that i'll explain all of that without rolling myself back to zero experience or anything like that i've set myself the challenge of explaining how to play the game outside of the tutorial so we're going to dive in with just starter equipment and go through some hints and tips and tricks that i wish i knew when i first started playing so let's dive in shall we all right, so first thing you want to do, basically, is you want to go through the tutorial. That's a really simple way to introduce how all the items work. One of the problems with the tutorial, I find, is that it doesn't tell you how to use them in real-world scenarios. It tells you what they do, but really, realistically, you want to know how you would actually do that when things are also chasing you and you know how do you avoid getting chased by the ghost and what is it you what are you actually looking for and all these little tricks and tips that you want to look out for there's also a number of elimination tests for different ghosts and i'm going to cover these as we get to them but it's little tips and tricks like this that you pick up along the way and i'm 100 hours in which isn't a lot for a lot of the seasoned players but it's a lot for me i'm 100 hours in and i want to start sharing some of this so first thing you want to do, first thing if you are playing phasmophobia i play phasmo on my own that's just the way i like it if you are playing it and you think it's completely impenetrable immediately you can lower the difficulty on this screen so you will start the game in your warehouse this is your base of operations and you will go over to this cork board you will click on it and you'll click single player this will load you into your contract you get to choose a contract if you click over on the left icon here and you get to choose one of the houses now when you first start you won't have access to all of these but that's fine you're going to unlock them as you go we're going to start on six tanglewood drive the starter house everyone's favorite right if you think it's too difficult at any point in time go to this icon where you can edit the difficulty. I like to play on professional. Um, it's not for everyone. Some people like playing on nightmare or insanity mode. I think that is insane, but I'm not at that, that skill level yet. I like to play. I'm very comfortable playing on professional difficulty. The difference being essentially... Uh, it changes a few parameters of the game, like how long you've got to set up, how long you've got before the ghost will start hunting you, how long you've got from the start of a hunt to the ghost appearing, that sort of thing. So it lets you it lets you uh, change some of those parameters. What you can also do if you're playing it on amateur, right? That's and totally fine. It's totally fine to play on amateur. Recommended for new ghost hunters. You get a long setup time, a long hunt grace period, short hunt durations. Your sanity pills, although you won't have any when you first start, and that's a very important mechanic, will restore a lot of sanity, and you'll regain half your lost equipment value when you die. That's also a key component, because if you are losing a lot in Phasmophobia, you are not gaining any money, which means you cannot replenish the equipment you are losing. Now, you do start off with a bit of equipment and i'm going to go through this in a second but if you find this too difficult there is absolutely no problem with going to one of the custom settings going on to ghost and then choosing to edit these options and you can turn friendly ghost on if you want to just learn the map and you want to just feel comfortable you can scroll all the way down here if i can find it uh ghost scroll all the way down friendly ghost the ghost will never hunt turning this setting on will result in zero rewards 
that's totally fine. If you find this too difficult and you just, you know, being in the haunted house and trying to find evidence and everything's just a little bit overwhelming, I recommend turning that on just to get some just to get some time in the house where you're not constantly worried about being hunted. That being said, we're not going to turn that on in this video. What we're going to do is we're going to dive into amateur mode and we're going to show you the differences between amateur mode and professional difficulty and we're going to go through what you could be do you could do at the start of a contract. So let's go back. We're going to choose our amateur difficulty. We're going to choose Tanglewood. So we're going to put a little mark against that. And we're going to go ready up and we're going to go start. I think it's going all right. Okay. First things first, the truck, right? Very important bits and pieces to know about the truck. I'm going to go from one side to the other. First off, on the right-hand side, you've got your sound sensor screen. That basically, if you place any sound sensors in the house, this will tell you where that sound is happening. Um, your total activity, this is important if you want to know if there's somebody in the van or you want to check out if it's the twins. We'll move on to that in a bit. Basically, this will tell you how active the ghost is at any one time. If you're playing solo, then obviously you can't just sit here and keep an eye on the screens. You actually have to be in the house doing the actual ghost hunting. But you can pop back here and you know you can say, well, actually that was quite a high, quite a high level of activity. So maybe it was you know a hunt, or maybe it was this, or maybe it was that. It can offer you some degree of information. What can also offer you some degree of information is your sanity meter. Now, this is average sanity. Obviously, for myself, I'm just playing on my own, so the average sanity is the same as my sanity, but uh, the ghost's hunt uh, uh, bite point basic threshold will depend all on the average sanity of the team. Normally, it's about 50%. That's your safe zone, right? Between 100% and 50%, that's your safe zone. After it drops below 50%, then you are at risk of being hunted. That's not to say that every ghost hunts under 50%. Some of them can hunt at any point. That's a demon. Some of them can hunt at any point. Some of them have abilities that allow them to hunt at any point. Some of them can hunt at higher thresholds as well. And it's these little tricks and tips that you'll pick up as you just start playing it and start identifying some of these ghosts. And finally, you've got the map. Now, the map is super helpful because on the lower difficulty settings, it can tell you exactly where the breaker is. And the breaker is important because normally when you start a contract, the breaker will be turned off, which means there's no lights in the house. And also the ambient temperature is a lot lower. So you need to go and turn the breaker on in order to raise the ambient temperature so you can then locate a colder room in the house which is normally the ghost room next up we've got the cork board this will tell you what case number you're currently playing the name of the ghost top tip when you get inside the house if you say the name of the ghost out loud it will anger the ghost into doing a reaction normally um, just in case you ever want to uh, invoke a reaction from it and the empty spaces you've got here are for photos. These are for your perfect investigation run. Now, we're going to move on to that in a later video, most likely, but these are so that you can gather all of the photos necessary to get that all-important perfect investigation, which will earn you a serious cash reward, which will be really helpful when you're first starting out. You've also got your secondary objectives. These aren't mandatory to complete the contract in this instance, they are mandatory if you're going for a perfect run or perfect investigation, but these will give you a nice little cash incentive if you happen to um, complete them as you're going as well. The clipboards are just your daily tasks, which can give you a lot more cash, and your weekly tasks, which can also give you a lot more cash. But if you're doing contracts again and again and again, you'll normally pick these up. But it's always nice. If there's a if there's an easy one, you can pick that up. Like, for example, if I wanted to reach 0% sanity, I could go and do that. That would give me an extra $50. Survive with only starting items. We'll probably do that here, in fact. Um, so we'll gain an extra $100 for that. Uh, next up, you've got the camera. The camera will give you access to any CCTV in the house and also any CCTV cameras that you place down there. That's pretty much what that does. Uh, and then we've got our glorious starting items. So the level one items are what I'm going to try and do this with. I'm going to showcase this. Um, this uh, cork board will be for all of your main evidence-based equipment. And these, this area is for your um, kind of auxiliary equipment. So things for your secondary objectives, your parabolic microphones, your sound sensors, your motion sensors, that sort of thing. Um, it will also have your sanity medication here when you unlock that. 
So first and foremost, you also have a also you have a clock just behind here. I completely forgot about that because I never have a clock on mine. You have a five minute grace period before the ghost can do anything on the lower difficulty settings. That means you can get in, find the room, set up some equipment and leave if you want to. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to get in, try and find the room. We're going to set up a camera. We're going to set up a book so we can find some ghost writing. And then we're going to try it. We're going to leave and come back and check the camera. Just see if we can get, gather some evidence from the van. Speaking of evidence, if you open your journal and go to the evidence tab, we're looking for three pieces of evidence in normal rooms. So if you want to know if you get these three pieces of evidence, it will automatically tell you that the ghost type is a myling. You have to make sure you circle the ghost type before you leave the actual contract. And we're going to get on to entering and leaving the contract in a second before you actually leave the contract. Otherwise, it won't count. If you just know it's a myling, but you end up leaving the contract and you haven't circled it, you haven't identified the ghost. Similarly, if you identify the ghost, but you... Oops, sorry. If you identify the ghost but you haven't gathered all of the evidence, let's say, for example, it does something very obvious that I know or you will know when uh, experience comes your way that it's a banshee, you can just say, I know it's a banshee without a shadow of a doubt. I don't need to gather the evidence. And actually, that's one of the more fun um, challenges that the community does. It's called zero evidence runs, where they actually go in without gathering any evidence and just see how the ghost reacts when it's hunting them and then try and identify them. It's a little hardcore for my taste, but I, I appreciate the fact that people can do that. You can also eliminate evidence. So if you definitely are not getting spirit box activity or ghost orbs, you click it once to say you have achieved, you have found that evidence, and you click it a second time to say you are eliminating that evidence. And then the ghost list will be updated accordingly. All right, so on from that, we have... How do you actually enter the contract? Well, first and foremost, to get into the house, you're going to need the key. So you're going to left click on the key. And to enter and exit the contract, you need to click this keypad. And that starts our timer. No, it doesn't. I'm a complete liar. Unlocking the front door starts our timer. So first and foremost, we need to find the ghost room. So we're going to, going to want to find the coldest room in the house. Now I'm going to take a flashlight and I'm going to take in character three items. Flashlight thermometer and just because i want to know if there's any fingerprints around i'm going to take this sexy glow stick so we're going to go and find out where well if we have a look at the map this green line here is the front door so if we go in and then turn right and right again we'll find the breaker box and you can also sprint as well by holding shift so we unlock the door and we open it normally what I like to do on Tanglewood specifically, one of those little tricks I get, the second I get into Tanglewood, I always pick up the car key because the ghost can activate the car alarm, which is really annoying if you don't have the car key. If there are car keys in a, in a map, there aren't in every map, but if there are, if there is a car in the map, there's normally a car key. So we're going to take a right and a right, and we're going to find the breaker box, open it, and turn it on. Oh, it's already on. Okay. Excellent stuff. So we're going to start turning some lights on. So we've got our garage here. Now that means that the temperature is probably already normalized. So it's probably already evened out a little bit. So we can get our thermometer out and we can see what its reaction is. So at the minute, the tier one thermometer is one of your old style mercury thermometers. At the minute, it's going up to about 10 degrees, which in this room, the room layout is a little different than you might expect. So this is one room. And the second I cross this threshold over from the wood flooring to the carpet, that's the second room. That classes as the dining room. So if I cross over here, this temperature might either freeze or continue rising or shrink or whichever, but it's continuing to rise. So I'm pretty certain it's neither of these two rooms. I'm going to go back into the laundry room and see if it changes. It's not. It's still rising. So a solid 20 degrees into the garage. No, still around 20 degrees. So we're going to go into the living room. Turn the light on in the living room. No, still solid. Let's go into the bedroom. Now, the bedroom has started to creep down a little bit, which makes me think this is a colder room. Now, if it gets really low, some rooms can fluctuate, but if it gets really low, that makes me almost certain 
that this is the ghost room. So I would say less than 10 degrees and I would say this is the ghost room. So, and one of the things you need to remember is sometimes multiple rooms like this count as one room. So these three rooms here, this walk-in wardrobe, this bathroom and this master bedroom are all the master bedroom and that's something you'll you just pick up over time that sometimes it's one room that's comprised of three that sort of thing we got a, a running tap we do have a running tap I'm just gonna turn that off so it's around five degrees now and it's still falling so I'm gonna place this on oh no, it's, it's it's exactly five degrees and you can see the character's breath as well. Not an indicator that it's freezing temperatures like it used to be, but it is an indicator that it's cold temperatures. So I'm gonna drop this on the unit. That makes me pretty certain that this is the ghost room. And, and just because it's been in this room and it's turned this on, I'm gonna shake my glow stick. And I'm just gonna see normally it can either touch windows or doors. So if it's been in the room and it's touched an item, just have a quick look with your UV light. I quite like the UV glow stick. I think it's one of the better items because it gives you quite a wide radius. Um, just have a look at light switches, see if there's any green fingerprints, fronts and backs of doors, and also windows, just to make sure there aren't any uh, fingerprints on there. I'll have a quick pass over these. Nothing appears to have been touched. Nope, oh, little bit of a light flicker there. Maybe the ghost is trying to communicate with us. Well, we could definitely hear some creaking and some bumping. So what else have we got with us? Just our torch. So we're gonna leave our uh, glow stick here and we're gonna go back for a camera. Now the camera is important, the video camera specifically. Um, oh, I forgot I could sprint then for a second. The video camera specifically because that can allow us to see uh, what are called ghost orbs which are just tiny orbs the only problem with ghost orbs um, are that you can only see them in the actual camera in the van rather than you can sometimes see them in the viewfinder um, but they're normally quite hard especially with the tier one camera as well hey pooples how's it going oh we've got a, a child laughing in the background there that's creepy so if we have a quick look through the viewfinder, I don't see any, you're looking for what looks like maybe dust particles just floating, floating in front of the camera. Just tiny little dust particles just floating around. But we can't seem to see one at the minute. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go and just place this down. I'm gonna place it about here and you can position this any way you want. So I'm going to place it here, pointing that way to give us a good view of the room. I'm going to check the temperature again. So the temperature has now dropped below zero degrees and the ghost has just touched something. So we want to make sure that we just check out everything around us. That was the sound of a door. Oh, that's, that's also the sound of a ghost event. Um, so that was a door being touched. And I don't know if we're going to see, we haven't seen any fingerprints. That doesn't mean it rules fingerprints out, but it does mean that it just didn't touch anything at that point in time. Now, that noise, interestingly, um, does rule out a ghost. That's something that's more advanced technique, but that, that noise specifically rules out one of the ghosts. And it's little tricks like that that we're going to um, go through during this. I want to call it a series of videos, uh, but this is just basically what you would need to know. Another thing you probably want to know when you're in this grace period is where your hiding spots are. So if there is a hunt happening, you want to know where your hiding spots are. These are normally uh, in cupboards. So if a hunt happens, ghosts are attracted to noise and electronic equipment. So it can hear your microphone. So you want to not say anything. And basically you want to make sure that your torch is turned off you're not carrying anything electrical, which we're not. We turn our torch off, we get in the cupboard, and we shut the door until the hunt has ended. And you know the hunt has ended because the ghost stops moving around and you stop hearing it throwing things around. So right now, it's actually turned the breaker off. So we need to go back into the garage now and we need to turn the breaker back on. And this is important, this is why you need to know where the breaker is. So given that, we're gonna go back to our van and have a quick look. We're gonna leave that light off. Yep, that light's off. We're gonna go 
back to our van and we're going to go and have a quick look at the camera just to see if we can find anything now we did find freezing temperatures so if we tick freezing temperatures we can see we've got still a whole host of ghosts that it could be so we need more evidence to to really nail down what ghost type this is and this is for me this is what makes phasmophobia really great uh hang on now an interesting tidbit here is this line right here makes me believe that it is the twins now the twins is a ghost that can do multiple things in multiple places uh, at the same time that's one of their abilities when they use that ability so normally a ghost can only do one ability in one place at one time or one event in one place at one time that hiss you heard in my ear earlier that is an event right that is it just doing a thing and um, each one of these lines represents each one of these peaks represents an event so this is an event this is another event um this was an event this was event. this one here is two events at once and this is one of those little tidbits that you want to look out for um, that you'll you'll learn as time goes on. But basically, if you see that on this graph, you've got the twins because they've done two events at the same time. Now, we're going to carry on finding evidence, but we already know. I already know it's the twins. So I'm going to circle the twins, but we're going to carry on finding evidence. So what we want is we want to get our EMF reader want to get our emf reader so we can get some emf action on and we also want well actually we can check now because i know it's the twins i'll know what evidence we can go for so it's going to be spirit box it's not ghost orbs so i don't need to check for ghost orbs it's in not dots that's fine uh it is emf level five okay so emf level five so not that not that not that and not that oh wait that's wrong. Not that. So spirit box and EMF level five. That's what we're going for. Now we don't need to do this, but I'm going to show you how you can do it. So spirit box and EMF level five are what we're going to go for. Uh, so I need EMF level five. I don't need that. I need a spirit box. Now the way a spirit box works is basically it allows you to communicate with the ghost or rather it allows the ghost to communicate with you. One last thing you want to make sure before leaving the van when getting more equipment is checking on your sanity level. Don't forget, Keep an eye on the average sanity. If it's lower than, you know, 65, 60, just be aware that you're probably going to be in the realm of getting hunted when you go back in and it lowers below, below 50. The way you can avoid that is you can, when you unlock them, you can take a candle. Is the, let's turn the breaker off again. Um, so we'll just go and fix that. You can take a candle in uh, or you can stand in a lit room. That will lower your sanity drop. There we go. So your sanity goes down quicker if you're in the dark. Your sanity, that small white ghost ball, that was what made that event. So that was a that was a, a ghost event that we just saw there. Um, so what we need to do, I'm just gonna turn this shower off because it's a bit annoying. There we go. What we need to do to use the EMF level five is we need to wander around with it on and wait for it to reach level five. Now that was a, a door opening as far as I'm aware is it this door being touched you can see the needle just wiggle every now and then um, the later EMF readers are much better they give you a very very um, uh, definitive output in regards to uh, the the actual anomaly the actual evidence that you're collecting the first tier uh, EMF reader is a bit hard to read sometimes but what you're wanting is you're wanting the needle to go right past that five not just near it it's going to go right past that five that's what you're specifically looking for and even though we found the ghost room you'll notice that i am walking around different rooms of the house that means that's because the ghost can wander around um, and because we've got the twins there are actually two ghosts wandering around doing different bits and pieces so we actually need to make sure that we're going around probably quite a lot to be honest with you So it's still not touched anything in here. This is one of those scenarios where the ghost can get a bit um, defensive and de just not touch anything. 
if the, you, especially when you're walking around wanting it to touch something so that you can get in, in an EMF reading just to either confirm or deny that it's EMF5 or not. Ah, we appear to have found a bone in the nursery. Now, this is an important piece of evidence. If you take a photo of this, you get a little cash reward for it. So make sure you take a photo of it before you pick it up. It's also important for the um, perfect investigation room. And if you're watching this video and you like it and you want to see a perfect investigation room tutorial, just stick a comment down below and I'll definitely do a perfect investigation tutorial. In fact, you probably don't need to leave a comment. I'll probably do one anyway. It loves turning that breaker off, doesn't it? Let's go and turn that breaker back on. Beautiful. We'll wander around here a little bit, considering it's spending so much time turning the breaker off. Now, getting an EMF 5 event can be a little tricky. Normally, ghost events can range from EMF level 2 to EMF level 4, and only if the ghost is one of the ghosts that gives you EMF level 5 you'll actually get EMF level 5. But it's kind of a random chance as to what event will give you that uh, EMF level. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can anger the ghost. You can antagonize it. You can use what are called cursed objects, more on those at another time, um, to uh, force the ghost to do an interaction. But largely, we just wander around and we wait. Now, because I'm not getting anything here at the moment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this away and I'm going to try doing the spirit box in the ghost room. Now, the way you do the spirit box is you, uh, well, there's two ways you can do the spirit box. The most common way is to use your microphone to communicate with the spirit box. And that's you turn it on and you start saying um, questions to the spirit box. Because sometimes the audio setup of Phasmophobia doesn't work 100% of the time, I like to use the text-to-speech. So there's text options when I actually use the spirit box, you can see on here, and I can say, are you friendly? Are, where are you? How old are you? That sort of thing. Now, uh, very important note, as someone has just pointed out in chat, what you need to do is you need to turn off the lights and you need to be on your own. So if you are, well, I'm pretty certain, let's just get our EMF out. Okay, so as we can see, that wasn't an EMF level 5 event. So let's, I'd probably say that was a 3 or a 4 that just happened there, but definitely not an EMF level 5. That, on the other hand, definitely an EMF level 5 event because that's gone all the way to and past EMF level 5. So we've definitely identified EMF level 5. So with the spirit box, you need to turn off all lights, be on your own in the room. Normally I like to shut the door. I don't know if that makes an actual difference or not. But then I will turn my torch off and I will go, are you friendly? And the little red light you can see there. There you go, that's a response. So the little lights you saw there, there was a red light that said there wasn't a response. And then a blue light that said there was a response. And that also lets me leads me to believe that there are two ghosts at the moment. Because one did not respond and one did. So we've got our spirit box response. We've got our EMF level 5 and we've got our what was the other one freezing temperatures so all together we know that it's the twins and this is a really interesting one because the twins are normally really really hard to diagnose they're normally really hard to investigate and they're normally really hard to uh, accurately um, uh, pinpoint as one of the ghosts and as you can see they're doing interactions here but none of them are doing interactions using their special ability to do two interactions or a twin interaction actually there you can just see it right there where this line crooks a little bit right here that's one activity that's another sorry that's one event that's another event that's a very easy visual way you can check this so we have discovered the ghost type so we just get to leave so we're gonna pack it up and go home and that's your first investigation in the bag um we we definitely went over the clock but we didn't get a hunt because our overall sanity was just above 50 percent like i said it's not a, there we go, the twins. It's not the, the the most terrifying game in the world. It doesn't need to be the most terrifying game in the world. It's a very good investigation game. And one of the main things I want to sort of impress upon people when they play Phasmophobia is the fact that you are normally in control. You have the agency of the jump scares. The jump scares might happen, but the hunt the hunt will only happen if you let your sanity drop to a certain percentage. And even if you are on top of your sanity and you get a hunt, then you've immediately identified the ghost because only one ghost can hunt you at any level of sanity. Technically two, 
but only one ghost normally hunts you at any level of sanity. That's the demon. The other one is the mimic, when it's mimicking the demon, but it has lots of other ghosts that it can mimic at any at any point in time during the contract. So that is your first that is your first contract under your belt. What I would suggest is go into Tanglewood have a wander around become familiar with it interact with all the items it's one of the only maps you'll have when you're actually starting out start on amateur difficulty there's no shame in it right start on amateur difficulty use that um grace period to set up your items to find the ghost room to get comfortable with the house you want to get more comfortable with the house turn friendly ghost on just turn friendly. get to know the map get to know where the possible hiding spaces are you know, open all the cupboards, find all the furniture. Let me know in the comments when you find the potato. You, when you find it, you'll know. But let me know in the comments when you find the potato. That's when I'll know that you are comfortable with that map. And that's when you'll really start to get the dirt under your nails that you need to start getting the cash you deserve in Phasmophobia. Because it's not an easy game to get into, but it is a very fun game once you start learning how everything ticks. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this very brief introduction and very brief beginner's guide. I'm hopefully going to do some more of these on more specific ones, but if you've never played Phasma before, don't be afraid of it. It's a really good investigation game, but you're in control of most of the horror in this horror investigation game. Anyway, I'm going to head off. If you want to watch these sort of videos live, you can tune in with the beautiful people here in chat every Tuesday and Thursday, 5 till 9 p.m. BST over on twitch.tv forward slash wholesome horror gaming. But until next time, stay safe, stay spooky, and happy ghost hunting. Thanks very much. Already. <laughs> All right, what time are we on? Oh, nine o'clock. I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna get a thingy. I'm gonna snooze ads, pow, and I'm gonna get a. Oh no, oh no! I didn't mean to do that at all. I think I went well. I think it went all right. I I think I rambled a little, but I think you know as a as a first cut of um actually doing a thingy. When you started using a spirit box, I thought you forgot about the light. Sorry. No, no, absolutely not. No, no, uh, that's always, always good. Oh, go get a glass of water. <laughs> that's not a bad shout, actually. Also, I hope Crash Wolves. What's how you doing? It was good enough. Thanks, Akros. Well, I want to do more like that, but I think my my main problem is I find it hard to stream YouTube videos on stream to do youtube videos for a purpose and i watch people do it and it's very impressive when they do it but there's obviously a lot of other bits and pieces happening in phasma and you're like you want to say oh and also this oh and also that and also this and also that but i think it's it's one of those ones if you've never played it before you kind of want someone to show you like you can go through the tutorial it's fine to go through the tutorial and it's it's a decent enough tutorial that teaches you how the mechanics of all the items work but when you're actually in the thick of it you need to know what happens like what do you do what do you press how do you do things you know what are you looking for um and i don't know i kind of i want i want more people to be playing it i, just, I know millions and millions of people play it but i want more people to play it. i want I, I hear people saying it's really hard to play and i'm like it's not really hard to play at all like it's dead easy to play but it's really hard to play if you've never played it oh thanks for some results i appreciate that right let's get a professional one under our belt and then we'll we'll go to bed you've kept me uh, you've kept me well entertained tonight chat thank you i need to make some food at some point i don't know what i'm having right here we got bob martin big bad bob martin Oh god, I missed my fucking tier three shit. Oh, is that the? Oh, that's the tier three flashlight, isn't it? Do I want to use that? I don't think I care about using that. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take. Uh, well, I'm gonna take this. Pow! Where's the thing? Oh god, it's foggy. Ooh, eat breakfast for dinner. Do you know we had that last week? It was delicious. So nice. It was so so nice. We had uh, scrambled eggs, hash brown, sausage, no bacon, um, sausage. Oh, a spine, not a spine, uh, and plum tomatoes. Oh, that was delicious. I've got fish in the fr in the freezer. 
Not like fish fish, but like bad fish. So I'm going to have fish and not chips. I'm going to have fish and maybe like potato smiley faces or something. Uh, right, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> I'm too busy thinking about food. 14.4. 13. Oh, I've once again forgotten I can sprint. 12. Yum. I don't know if he's going to have warmed up enough. More, well, actually, I don't know. Boop. Yum. Have we got a Ouija board? We do not have a Ouija board. You're not a basement ghost, as far as I'm aware. If it were early enough, I'd go to the shop and get some cereal. And probably have cereal for dinner. But also then I know my wife would kill me. Like I'd be literally dead. She wouldn't kill me. She wouldn't, she wouldn't mind. She she'd want me to eat something proper though. But that's one of the things I always I always forget to eat. That's <laughs> one of the things that people have said. Have you been have you been tested for ADHD? Because I genuinely I will forget to eat unless something reminds me. Nursery ghost? No. Are you a poo room ghost? No. Are you the only room I've not checked, ghost? No. What the fuck? Oh, wait. Are you a hallway ghost? No. Wait. What? Is it broken? Living room? No. Well, I know you're in here. No, nah, you're a kitchen ghost. Okay, cool. Brilliant. Lovely. I love it. Can't get enough of it. You haven't touched the window. You haven't touched... You've... I, I forget how fucking good this EMF reader is. It was exactly 1.2 meters away, and it's this. It's this level. I forget how good this EMF reader is. Oh, there's ads coming. Sorry. Shall we do an ad challenge? So we see if we can survive whilst there's an ad... What the fuck? Oh, that was me. <laughs> it's fine. See if we can survive while there's ads on. Wait, what other thing have I got? Oh, I bought the, the temp gun in, didn't I? 4.4. You didn't. Hello. No, it's fine. Bob Martin, give us a sign. No, it's fine. He's fine. He doesn't give a shit. He gives zero shits. Uh, let's get some salt. And also. No, I don't want to use it. I want. Oh, because I'm carrying the stupid fucking thing, aren't I? Right, pop that on there. Pick that up. My glorious tier two camera. Oh my god, that was bright. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Kitchen ghost. That was a level two. That's fine. Oh, hello. <laughs> Alright, mate. You appear to be a bit all over the place in your kitchen. That was a four, a two, and a two. Got it. Right, well, shall we put some salt down, eh? About that there. That, it's not a wraith. <laughs> Immediately not a wraith. Immediately not a wraith. It's another two. Fine. Well, let's go check for Orbeez. Orby McCorbisons. Keep forgetting I can sprint. Keep forgetting. Mm. 
No, no orbs. No orbs. Uh, grab one of these, grab one of these. Nyom. Oh, I should have checked my sanity. Always forget to check my sanity. Right. Oh, good. Ghost writing. Got that. That's only a level two, though. Uh, right, turn that off. Okay, you're very active. That was a four and a four. Got it. Oh no, I turned that on by accident. Are you friendly? Where are you? Where are you? How old are you? Okay, so there's nothing there. Yet. Nothing there yet. That was also a two. Is this still not freezing but cold? Yeah, not freezing but cold. Cool. Uh, I haven't got anything else with me, have I? Bums. Again, keep forgetting I can sprint. Right, so we got ghost writing. Uh, ooh, is that it? That's all we've got so far, isn't it? Bagger. Bagger. Right, we'll have another look. Cheeky look on the camera. Orb. There's a tiny orb back there. Oh, I need. Oh, I don't know if I need another to confirm that. Oh no, uh, yeah, orb. Cool. Right, what could it be? A mare, a revenant, or a thay? Fucking hope it's not a revenant. What do I need? I haven't got the other cheat sheet on me today. Not ultraviolet. Not EMF. Could be freezing temperatures. Could be spirit box. Could be dots. Lovely. Could be most fucking things. What's my sanity like? Oh, 49. Oh, wait, what was the one that drains my sanity if I touch it? Um, wait, let me get my sheet. What are my options? Mare, Revenant, or Thay? Mare, Revenant, or Thay? Revenant. No, I don't know much about Revenant. Mare, Revenant, or Thay? Mare. Can't switch on lights. Fine. No, none of those say that. Okay, cool. I have no clue then. Right, let's quaff a thing. Lovely. And let's go. So it's freezing temps, dots, or spirit box. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yum. So much sprint. Oh. So sprinty. Right, is it freezing? No. Wait, hang on. Have you moved? Because I saw the orb in here, didn't I? You. No. Well, you, oh, I think you might have. 5.5. What's in here? Oh, yeah, that's Walter, is it? Yeah, no, fuck that. Go back in the kitchen. 7.6 in the kitchen. 5.3 in the dining room. I bet. Oh, there's dots. <laughs> cool, it's a Thay. Let's go. We're out. Let's get a perfect one as well while I'm at it. Go and nom some more sanity meds. Make sure that's nice and high, and then just get loads of photos of salt. And then we're, we're good. We're good to go. And the bone, obviously. That's all I need, isn't it? One, two. Buckle my shoe, pal. I don't need a photo of the. Oh no, I need to do these. Repel it with incense while chasing someone. I remember the ghost. Uh, what is a ghost event? Ah, oh, yeah, it's not happening. Not happening. We're packing out, people. We are packing it up and going home. <laughs> it's a thay. Not a thay, but a thay. Beautiful.
Absolutely beautiful. And we got our weekly challenge done as well, which I'm really pleased with. We got our weekly challenge done. I don't think we died. Did we just have a deathless run? Oh my god, we did. We had a deathless experience. My god. I'm I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> we got a good uh, tutorial video out of it. Uh, play your first, uh, play your first adventure. We played loads of demos as well. We played. Oh, I'm well excited for that. To is it to Tar Tarmanter? 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 I can't remember what it was called now. Leave. Just leave game. Yeah, leave game. And you'll get my sexy desktop now. Uh, term, termen, termen, tormentia. That was it. Tormentia. Can I wish list this? Because this looks awesome. Does it stop age? This looks very cool. Add to wish list. Yeah, this looks cool as fuck. Get to unlock the red house. <laughs> nice. Brilliant. Oh no, I don't like that. Oh. Spell prison. Spell prison. So creepy. I love it. I love it. Croxall Studio. This definitely this this could be the spitting image of Faith, the unholy trinity. Let me just show you Faith. Not Flaith. Faith. The unholy trinity. Right? Right? Oh, that scene scared the shit out of me. The one where she's at the bottom of the bed. Yeah, someone had fun retroscoping it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, man. I need to replay that. That's a classic. That's an absolute classic. Yeah, I'm so surprised that's not the same person. MS Paint Horror. Yeah, it really is, isn't it? It really is. Right, I'm going to head out of it. I need to go and get some food because I'm really hungry. And I need to actually try and get some sleep tonight, which is going to be weird because my wife's not here, but... Uh, yeah, I need to go and try and get some sleep because I've got a big day tomorrow. So um, I'll let you know what's going on on Discord as and when I can. But otherwise, I will uh, see you when I see you. And I will uh, leave you in the loving and capable tunes of uh, Summit Cool. So, yeah, I will uh, I'll see you later. Have an excellent evening. What day is it? It's Thursday. Have an excellent weekend if I don't see you before the weekend. And uh, stay stay safe, stay spooky, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye-bye for now.